I'm in France now. And I'm here in the Gallo-Roman city of Epumandurum, a complicated name of the modern city of Mandeur. And what we can see here is one of the biggest Roman theaters of ancient times and the biggest one of France. Let's check it out. Hey guys, so I just entered into France yesterday and I will be staying in France for a bit longer. So for at least a month or something. And the first site we will be visiting together is this Roman city, Roman Gallo city of Manduaduro, modern Mandeur in the region of the Bourgogne. You see, I have here one of the nicest places to sit right in front of the theater, which we will discuss now. The theater here is in its uh, capacity the largest one in the entire France. It is in its dimension already like 105 diameters, so from one part to the other. 105 meters. It used to be 30 meters in height and it lands on this uh, natural hill here and then build up just a bit on four different layers. We will go in and I will show you. So these Roman theatres usually they are situated in sacred contexts. So the entire space just around us here was actually a sacred space full of different temples, one big temple and a huge square where people could um, do their uh, ritual procession and stuff like that. And just here at the angle of the theatre there's one nice thing we can observe which I always really like but it's uh, hard to, to, to find out um, what this really means because actually you have to be there at the excavation to understand those things. But we see those different stone slabs here. Here, here. And this is part of this sacred um, square which used to be uh, just here in front of the theater. What we can find here are those different cavings into the rock. Uh, into the plates and they can mean different things so sometimes they just mean or they just were used to in the construction phase of this square to bring those stone slabs into the position but as we can see many different ones and um, in uh, different parts of this angle here of the theater actually 
uh, we could assume that they were used for uh, temporal uh, wooden structures, such as a store or something, so that they would uh, sell here food or other stuff in a small wooden shed. And now, let's go over here. So this theatre used to have two entrances for the public, one on the north and one on the south side. What we see here now in the background is a reconstructed part of the theatre, so that's the north entrance. Shall we go in? Let's go. So you have to imagine the entire front of the theater was actually characterized by these kind of arches. These arches made an important part, structural part of the entire building um, because they were distributing the weight of the building um, on certain parts. And the entrance is made out of one of these arches. Usually people would enter here and then go up the stairs just like we do now. There are um, a few architectural things which are really interesting. So first of all we have here like an opus incertum wall, which means that there is one um, wall mold that um, is constructed out of this almost rectangular but always like uh, differently shaped prairie stones and in the middle they are just prairie stones without any uh, shape to them and mortar so maybe you can see this now we have this part and then the inner part is a bit, di bit different and inside here, we find also some arches. Here's an arch, and then here's another one. So they are actually just for the stru structural integrity of the building. Because as you would see, all those um, different stones, where, where, which are not normalized in their shape, you don't really can, you can't really know where the weight distribution exactly goes. But those arches are really um, leading the weight distribution in uh, places where you can expect them. So they make a really important structural part of the entire building. And as we go here, there's one other thing. I uh, didn't... There's one other thing I discovered here. This part of the wall seemed to be fulfilled in ancient times. But what we find here is a bigger stone slab with a huge rectangular hole in it. And it goes down like almost two meters. So let me know if you have any idea. I have never seen something like this, but I believe that they actually put uh, a wooden pillar in it or something to give the entire structure again uh, more structure inside. And then they uh, built the wall all around it. Take a look inside. Could be a trick to to increase the stability of the entire structure. So as we go up here, like the audience would have done to come into this theater, we have now different possibilities. We could go down and um, enter from down or here above. 
that was kind of important in ancient times because the more important you were politically or also economically you were sitting closer to the orchestra to the central space down there where the actual um, action would have happened in the theater now which action do i mean so they played here greek and also roman tragedies but also comedy and sometimes they were also doing some rituals uh, religious rituals here overlooking the sacred space i already mentioned So the people who entered this as an audience, they were distributed in different ways. For instance, here in this central staircase, which is called Metorium, by the way, because people were spitted out, if you were looking from the outside. So people could search their faces here on one of the four floors we have here. The caviar, which is the space where people were sitting here, was uh, structured into four different floors. They are very well preserved here, actually, just the fourth floor, uh, not so much. And here we are getting closer to the orchestra, the central space where the most important people of the city were sitting, or even Roman senators, if they were visiting from the capital. Just right here. Like that. <laughs> and here we are in the central space of the theater. Check it out. So what was special about these theaters too is that the actual stage where the actors were playing was just about here. So in front of us there was the orchestra, which is acoustically one of the best spaces here. So if I would speak here without a microphone, the audience would uh, still understand every word here. And just up here they will build like one skinny fronts or just a skinny and not only to close up the theater here but also to be like a background of the theater play i would say let's go up now huh? first floor second floor Yeah, the remains of the ancient staircase here, by the way. Quite steep. Third floor. Fourth floor. <sighs> Look at this. Yeah, this seat there was the biggest one in entire France because we could estimate the capacity for 
people coming here. It's like 14 to 18 thousand people, which is quite massive. Even nowadays, it's almost half of the stadium of the modern German soccer team of Freiburg, SC Freiburg, which has like a bit more than 30,000. But that's a huge city, and as you know, cities were much smaller in ancient times. Yeah, really nice. We will see many more theaters, Roman theaters, Greek theaters. But that's a nice start, I would say. By the way, typical for Roman theaters is that they have a semicircular cavea. So they are semicircular in shape, and usually they are built up artificially. And Greek theaters, they are a bit more than semicircular and are leaning to natural hills usually. Here it's a bit special, it's built up some stores, but it's also leaned against at a natural hill. Oh, I forgot to show you something, let's go. Because local universities were actually excavating here in the past years. The theater itself was already excavated in the 19th century. But uh, some recent discoveries are really nice. So they discovered this uh, well here several meters deep and they reconstructed it already but it used to be very representative and was obviously used also in the context of the theater so if you want to enter the theater or go elsewhere from here you could take your zip of water here but not only that because actually they found like several structures here which are belonging uh, to a kitchen house. They were cooking. Yeah. Nothing else. Found a lot of pots of cooking ware, of cooking pots, and that stuff. Which means that uh, people not only cooked here, but also probably cooked here a lot to sell the food. Could have meant different purposes just for the visitors of the theater that you could eat whilst looking at the show. Also that there was a kind of a procession people did. So maybe they had like religious rituals just here in the space and then they would go into the theater for having a show and then they would eat together or something. 